the night, ladies and gentlemen, will be hosting the second annual MTV Awards on September 13th. That takes place. He also has a brand new album out, which I have right here. It's entitled How Could It Be? Not only an album, he also has a single right here entitled Party All the Time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eddie Murphy. Good looking guy. That's You're a good looking guy. That's not out yet. It won't be out for three weeks. How could it be as the, the real album, the big album? The it's an album. Yeah. <laughs> it's music, it's not comedy. No comedy on <laughs> oh, it? Is it like this? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not comedy. There's no comedy at all. What kind of music? music? Real music. Yeah. Serious music. This was produced by... Rick James. Rick James. James. Produced, written, and arranged by this song. This, mm -hmm. this is the, the first song they're releasing called Party All The Time. Party All The Time. But it's music. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now this is... Uh, this is only one song on here, right? That's a giant 45, it's called. Yeah. Now what does that go for? Five dollars. And you get one song on each one side. One long song. <laughs> it's, this song is like... One side's the instrumental and the other side's the, the vocal. This five, is five minutes and 18 seconds long. Yeah. It's about a dollar a minute you get. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Like five cents, 11 cents. <laughs> now, do you, do you uh, play any instruments or you just sing? I play a little tiny bit of piano. This album was put out because... Um, I've always wanted to sing, and I guess I figured to put it out now, so if it didn't work, I could do jokes about it next year. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we're confident that it's going to be hot. Are you confident? Now, did, did, did you like what you heard? Did you like the finished product? Did you? Of course, I have a biased opinion because I worked on it for a year. Y'all have to be the judge of it. I like it. Okay, even if you're sitting there and go, this is terrible, you know, I'm sitting home going, I like it. I, I, like, I like the album. Stevie Wonder wrote two songs on the album. Rick James wrote one. And a guy named Rusty Hamilton wrote one. And I wrote, and the music and the lyrics were like four of the songs on the album. Y'all going to be shocked. Y'all going to sit there and go, he's a monster. How could he do this? <laughs> now, uh, did you enjoy this more than comedy? That can't possibly be, can no, it? No, I'm, yeah. I'm always going to. It's not like I'm <laughs> going to stop doing comedy and be the singer all of a sudden. I always do comedy, and I'll never do serious movies and stuff. I just wanted to sing. You know, sometimes you just say, I feel like singing. <laughs> and sing it, I'm singing like on the record. We recorded it. What was Rick James like? Now, are you friends with Rick James? Rick's you knew him from before singer. he started the record? Yes. Now, what's it like? What kind of a life does this man lead these days? Rick's a wild guy. Yeah. He's everything you would think he would be and more. A lot of, a lot of honeys? <laughs> 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 they was trying to talk Negro just now. <laughs> so, I a, so I suppose around Rick there are lots of honeys and super cool chicks. Yeah, lots of honeys. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, uh, that you went up to? Uh, he lives in, in Buffalo. Yes. Is that right? He has a, re a studio up there. Uh, he's a studio in his basement. Yeah. How long did you spend up there? <laughs> I spent. Uh, we got snowed in, so we. This was last winter. We mm -hmm. were working on the album. I spent like a week up with Rick James, in his place. Yeah. Yes. Well, I hope I hope it works out really well for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, speaking of music, <laughs> uh, you're hosting the big MTV Awards. Yes. Yeah. Is that exciting for you? Yeah, I'm looking. Those I, I like. I don't usually like award shows, like, but this is like fun because it's music. Mm -hmm. I don't like the Academy. Award. I mean, I, I'm not saying I. I you don't like, like the Academy one. Awards. I ain't saying I wouldn't like to win one. I'm saying I don't like to be there. <laughs> I would win and say uh, accepting Freddie, but, uh -huh. you know. But um, I like music award shows because you get to see bands, you see shows and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Now, will you be eligible for one of these awards? Do you have anything? I guess not. An MTV this, award? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Now, no. are you going to make a video? Yes, we're doing a video next week. Rick mm -hmm. and I are shooting a video for that song party all the time. So it will be you and Rick in the video. Yes. Yeah. And so it will be eligible for the awards next year. Yes. Yeah. Now, would it, would that be exciting for you to win one of those? Yes. <laughs> Now, did I read something this morning that you said that the, the awards weren't that big a deal? I never said anything like that. Where'd you read that? Newspaper? Did we read that in the newspaper? I have I a battery that. of attorneys over here. You, what paper did you read it in? The Post? <laughs> I never said that. Uh, uh, 
You still living in New Jersey? I'm moving from one part of Jersey to another part. <laughs> I bought a house about two miles away. Yeah. Well, that's good. You like staying over there. I like Jersey. Now, is it true uh, that uh, at one point a guy came to your door with a script under his arm? Yes. One of your neighbors had written a script? What they come it? to the door with everything in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> they came with a script. The script wasn't that... Well, what was the name of that script? Dust to Dust. Dust to Dust. It turned out to be okay. And dust they, to Dust? A neighbor had written it? Yeah. A, a guy, a man or a woman you knew? I have no idea. It was mm -hmm. a... Somebody just gave me a script and I read it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to have everybody like this. Hey, I wrote something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I read the script. It was a good script. And Is there a chance that it'll get made? It's, a chance that I'm, I, it's not good for me, but it's like this. It's a funny movie. Good for maybe your next door neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to be in Dust and Us. <laughs> uh, well, that'll be quite a story, though, if a guy from the neighborhood gets to you and gets the, the film produced. That'd huh? be something. Yeah, it'd be exciting. We're going to do a, a commercial here, and then we'll be back with uh, Mr. Eddie Murphy right after this, folks. <laughs> Eddie Murphy is here. Now, uh, you mentioned you moved to another section of New Jersey. Yes. You, you think you'll ever move to California, Los Angeles, something like that? Hollywood? Uh, no. Why not? Because I'm an extremist, and there's so much of everything out there that I'd probably die if I moved to L.A. Really? Yes. You, you would go out there and uh, project for us what might happen to you? A lot of the, Specifically, I know, it's a, I know it's a party town. Put it like too that. much party. Too much party could kill you. Yeah, yeah. especially uh, in the eighties. Yeah, uh, you go to a lot of parties. Not as much as I used to. Uh -huh. You go to a lot of parties in New Jersey. There's, there aren't many parties in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. It's a place where it's the Garden State. You live there. It's quiet. Yeah. It's not a party place. But California is uh, could be trouble. Show business in California. Martin Mull, I think, and I keep saying this over and over, had the best line to describe show business in California. It's like high school with money. That's good. Yeah, pretty much it. Now, what about Indiana? You were making funny Indiana. He's from Indiana. I'm from Did Indiana. you know he was from Indiana? Yeah, we know that. Now, have you ever? Do been you know that Michael Jackson is from Indiana? Gary, Indiana. Did you all know each other coming up? Yeah, we had a paper route together. Who would have thought that y'all was from the same town? Now, have you ever been to Indiana? Never ever. Oh, that's a great place. I bet it is. <laughs> Uh, now tell me about the movie. Are you under a lot of pressure to do another movie? Because all I read about it, Eddie's rejecting scripts, Eddie's accepting scripts, he's looking at scripts. I'm afraid to do see the scariest thing I've ever done in my career was a movie called Best Defense. Because it was really, really bad. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> and everything was going so good right before I did it, then all of a sudden it looked like it was gonna everything was gonna stop. And um, I'm just afraid after cop, I'm afraid to, to just do anything and have people going, that's it, it's over, it's no more. He's terrible, he sucks. I don't want to, I don't, Can you say sucks on your television? Yeah, yeah on this show you can, sure. Uh, yeah, but you know, that's interesting but, uh, because uh, uh, Beverly Hills Cop was the most successful motion picture, what, of all time? Something unbelievable no, like no, that? No, 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 no. It's in the top five the top, all time grocers. Which one it? is it, Bob? Eight. Top eight. Is it eight? Why don't you just say eight, the eighth instead of the top eight to have people going, which one is it? It's the eighth. It's the eighth. In yeah, Bob, we really don't have time to guess which number it is, okay? <laughs> what the hell is Bob? Bob's my manager. Bob, hey, nice Bob, you've never been on TV. That's come right. out Let's here. Let's keep it that way. Bob, no, Bob come hey, here. Bob, no, stay over there, Bob. Bob, Bob come here. Bob. Max, come here. Bob, just come, come say here, hi. That's my manager, Bob White. Oh, hey. Bob, hey. that's Bob. Do me a favor, button it up, Bob. Bob, you be sweating, boy. You see all that yeah, sweat? He didn't, he didn't want to come over here, did he? No, sir. <laughs> he uh, said his name is Nathan. Shh. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm saying is you could still have a huge hit and not be as successful as Beverly Hills Cop. Now, that wouldn't bother you. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, this is the first I don't, one. Yeah. I don't think, like, I don't know. I don't, you know, you never know what a movie's going to do, but that movie's a freak cop for people to go out. And, I'm Thank you for going out and seeing it, but not many movies do that, mm -hmm. you know? So are you are you spending a lot of time trying to figure out a way to make the next one as successful, or are you trying to use your instincts? I just want the next one to be entertaining. Yeah. I don't want to look like I got all these scripts out of any place and just read them and just jumped on something to do something, a movie. Have you seen something you like? 
pretty well? There's a movie called Golden Child that we're going to do. We can't find a director because we're having problems with directors now because it's real interesting. It's Let like Bob direct it. Bob, <laughs> Bob would sweat. <laughs> no, it's like, it's real strange. It's like before you get successful as an actor, it's like no one wants to really work with you because they don't really know who you are. Right. Then you get successful. Now I'm in a position It's like a director's kind of pull back because if the movie's a success... They go, uh, Eddie Murphy's at yeah, it again. That's right. And if the movie goes in the toilet, they go, the director's horrible. Ab- absolutely. So, yeah. so it's like you can't win, so it's hard yeah. to find a good director, and we can't find a good director. Yeah. But we're looking. But you'll see something by next Christmas, probably. Oh, that's great. Golden Child. It's a good movie. When it comes out, run to the theater to see it, because it's a good movie. Uh, I got to talk about these people. I'm, I'm hosting the MTV Awards oh, Eddie, September 13th. This is a plug. Oh, no. I'm going to tell you who's on the show. Oh, Eddie. The Eurythmics, <laughs> Hall & Notes, John Cougar, Mellencamp, this will all be edited out. We'll edit Pat Benatar. All. Any of Sting, this. just wait a second. Tears for Fears, Tina Turner, John and about, Andy Taylor of Duran Frankie Duran. Goes to Hollywood, will they be there? No. David, will Frankie Goes to Hollywood be there? They went to England. They're in England. So they now, who's that guy? <laughs> That's Les Garland. Unbelievable. From Les, come out here and say hi, Les. Les. That's Les Garland. Hey. Oh, that's all right. Nice to see you. From MTV, Les Garland. Beat it, beat it, Les, beat it, beat it. One of, the, one of those cable weasels, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> David Lee Roth. for Rowe. sale, by the way. Did you know that? Grace it's for Jones. sale. Get your money first. It's for sale. MTV, they sold they it. They sell it? Gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, gone. We moved the it. The cars. Chrissy Hind, is that how you pronounce her name? Okay. All right, as Eddie continues this Henley. list, we'll fade out slowly. Julius Lennon. Morris Day, Quincy Jones, Herbie no, no, Hancock, no, 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 and me. Glenn Fry. No, no. Eddie, nice to see you again. Good luck to you. Have a nice fall. We'll be right back, folks.